everyone and welcome back to a rare daytime edition of Atman Unlimited. So we got the door open, it's a beautiful fall day in the Northeast, and I thought I'd make a quick video and talk about how I make these videos, and more specifically to address some of the complaints about some of the machining videos, specifically with the coolant. So I'm not going to stop using coolant. The coolant provides a much better surface finish, increased tool life, etc etc we went through all the reasons why we use coolant so what I'm trying to do is make it so that the GoPro that I use mounted inside the machine doesn't get all fogged up with coolant so I'm going to show you the setup that I came up with and to date we've been plagued by this so you can see when the tooling is throwing coolant around in the machine it gets on the GoPro lens it majorly obstructs the view, makes the image all blurry. So we're going to try to rectify that. I still have the issue of the coolant, you know, kind of obstructing the part a little bit because I use so much flood coolant. Um, that I'm not going to be able to fix. I can't get the feeds and speeds and the tool life um, that I'm getting without using coolant. So let me show you what I got going on here to try to rectify the problem, and then I'll show you an example of uh, how well it works. So at first I tried just standard Rain-X with the uh, GoPro. That helped a little bit, but it didn't work very well. I, you know, Rain-X is designed to make water bead off of a lens, and I think the emulsifiers and oils and the coolant interact so that the Rain-X doesn't work as well. It, it still helped, but it didn't work like it would work on your car window. So I'm using this on the lens of the GoPro, and now I, I came up with this setup here. So our GoPro would be normally mounted right here. You know, checking out the action going on at the cutting surface. And then I, I kind of cobbled together a whole bunch of stuff uh, this morning that I had laying around the house um, just to try this out. So the only thing I actually went out and I bought is I bought one of these little uh, slinky hoses uh, just so that the Z can go up and down freely. And then uh, I got a couple of plumbing parts I kind of just pasted together. And then this is just a piece of 3 8 uh, copper piping. And then what I did is I, I gradually crimped the tip of it down. And then I took uh, a piece of 20 thou uh, shim stock and I put it in the tip. And then I crushed it really hard with my vise. So I've got this nice 20 thou wide uh, slit you know in the very tip of this so I don't use a lot of pressure it's only running at like you know two or three PSI so it doesn't flow a lot of air but what it does is it makes a really high velocity and then on the GoPro it, it's pointing at the corner of the lens and just kind of pushing across the lens and the fan tip kind of clears off the whole lens for it so this is what it looks like testing it I just squirted it with a spray bottle so here's some cooling in your eye and you can see that as soon as the coolant hits the lens, the air blast just pushes it right off the lens. So I think this is going to work uh, very well. Okay, so there's the tour. So we're going to try using this setup uh, coming up in the next park video uh, that should be out on Friday. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see how it works in real life. It looks like it works real good, uh, you know, just squirting the lens. So it should work uh, pretty good uh, for making our park. So stay tuned for Friday, and we'll uh, see if we can make that uh, moisture separator bowl.